So we've got this 5 Series Touring, uh, it's the E61 model code, 2008. Um, I've just done the tailgate wiring loom on it. Uh, those of you who've done that before will know that that's not a pretty job. Um, so that's all done, there was quite a few things not working on the back, like the rear wiper, the heated rear screen, the um, remote central lock-in was intermittently not working, the soft close didn't work. Um, went straight behind the speakers and, and you know you could see straight away it was all all there. So I had to replace three looms at the back there. So I put it back together. Um, straight away the soft close started working again. Okay, great. So um, close down the tailgate, do a quick check on everything and found that the rear wiper was still not working. Oh. So we go on there and we've got nothing at the back. So we'll quickly run through the diagnostics that I went through to find out the problem. Uh, it turned out to be quite a simple fix. Okay, so rule number one of checking electrical circuits, make sure it's switched on. So we'll turn it on there. Make sure you roll with the tailgate catch. So the circuit's activated, it doesn't work when the boot lid's open. We've got the black lead connected to a good ground behind there, there's a ground point. We'll take a reference voltage here. Okay, so 12.1 so you can see there we've got a brown which is the ground we've got a violet and red which is the park signal and then we've got the power which is the black and the green so we're going to go down in the back of there okay so it's an intermittent wiper standard so we'll just wait here, see if we've got anything right. So we've got a flat zero, zero, zero. If you've got zeros all across the board, it's a good indication that that's a ground, which is telling me it's open circuit. And that's not moving, it should have gone by now. Okay, so we've got an issue there. So now I'm gonna work back. I've just replaced the wiring loom for that there. So we're gonna find the black and green in this loom see it just there and I'm just going to go in the side of the wire and we've still got just flat zeros there so if we if we take it out you can see it flickers around okay when you get just zeros it shows that you've got a good ground we can do the same here look if we go onto that good ground that we've got there zeros Okay, so now we've got to work back. So check out the wiring diagram. And we found there that there is a relay that we need to check. That relay is under here. So I happen to know the history of this car and know that it had a little water incident in the boot area once upon a time. However, I suspect we might still have a problem. So we've got three relays in the boot here. We've got the salmon pink relays here, and there we've got the black and green, which indicates it's the it's the same one we're after. So let's have a look at the relay. So a bit of green fur there. Let's open it up and have a look. So core of the relay slipped out really easy there and we can see there that we've got loads of green fur inside there, a bit of corrosion and we're looking at terminal, I'm sure you can see that very well, terminal 87. So we've got terminal 87 there, here's the main power feed input, terminal 30, that's a permanent live and that's our output. So I think we should replace this. So I've just been up to see my good friend Bob at Bimmer Works in Coventry and he has a salmon pink relay spare for me. So 
Let's pop that in there. There we go. Fixed.